Yo, 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 it's D Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about why norm normies don't understand retention. Why the average person does not understand semen retention. What the point of it is and why people are doing it. They don't understand the psychology behind semen retention. And um, in this video, I'm going to explain to you, explain to them in a hypothetical way, the benefits and the reasons why retention can literally enhance the trajectory of your life. See, the thing is, the reason why normies don't understand semen retention is because it's because of the way they're living their life. See, the thing is, if you do the same thing on a consistent basis every every day, and the the things that you're doing are not helping increase your life, you're not getting a uh, you're not getting a percent better every single day in the next five years your life will either get will projectively pr probably get worse the quality of your life now if you if you do if you're intentional about your life and you stack on good habits after good habits after good habits in the next five years the projector of your life is going to increase you're probably going to earn more probably be a more viable option and you're just gonna be, you're just gonna be happier. See, the thing is, you, you, happiness is is a direct relation to what you do every day. is based on your habits. And when you go on retention and compound retention with good habits, you're literally living your your existence now is living for a better future. But I mean, if your habits with what you do consistently isn't isn't getting if you're not getting a better um if you're not getting better results then what you're doing is living you're slowly but surely going down on the, on the curve of success and the reason why normies don't understand retention is because they don't have anything they don't think they don't have anything in the in their mind that they're aiming towards that they're aiming for they're aiming for the weekend they're aiming for what they can get they're not they're not really passionate about self-improvement because if you were passionate passionate about self-improvement then a lot of things that you, people that you, that I mean, you that wouldn't help serve you you would throw it out the window you have to be all in you have to be all in if you really want to get some if you maybe want to get more material success or things like that but they're not they're not they don't have something that's they don't have an, an image or a vision in their mind that they're steadily working towards too so that's why they don't, they don't think retention is why it doesn't make sense to to people but for the opposite is someone who has some sort of vision or image or something something they see themselves doing and they're working steadily towards that vision every day day in and day out eventually they're going they're getting it they're going to get it so i mean you have two choices to stay the same or become better and the thing is the thing about life is no one cares if you're staying the same or getting worse no one's going to come cater to you so you really have to make the decision since nobody really is bothering me about anything i have to make the decision myself if i want to become great and live in that pride of being great or i want to do settle for whatever I can get. You really have to increase and change yourself to attract the better, the best things in life. Retention helps you give, finally gives you that courage to do so. Because once you go on retention, you've amplified your belief, you've amplified your courage, you've amplified yourself, and now all things are for your highest good. All things are for your highest good, so choose your heart. You can either die from the pain of regret or the pain of discipline. You can be disciplined now and live an easier life later, or you can live undisciplined now and live a harder life later. It's up to you. It's 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 hard. It's up to you. you. We've seen the consequences. I was doing a research on the, on this research and it says America is one of the most obese countries in the in the world. <clears throat> It's one of the most obese countries in the world, and then it was doing even a, a, a even broader study where it said where it literally had, there was a study, and this this is this is quotes from 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 uh, the internet said four out of five 
four to five African-American women are either overweight or obese. And then I started realizing, is this even true? And then I did the research and, it, and it, uh, uh, they saw, saw the statistics, statistics and then I, just, I decided to compare those statistics with other statistics. <laughs> and that's basically what happened. Now, this this is, has nothing to do with what I think. This is everything that I I saw on the internet, and I'll I'll put the studies up, um, so you can see it. So I'm not making this up, but I just realized that being being one overweight or obese or being, just not being in the best shape as possible is diminishing your your vigor for life. Because if you don't have that, if you don't have that um physical capability of doing things the success is going to be harder for you it's easier for you to do things when you're when you're when you have energy to do it so you have to take care of your energy so i mean like i said i mean you can be saying oh oh this is this is an important oh he's just saying things oh he's just being he's just being a dick oh he's just being this blah 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 you can say all these things but what i'm really trying to say is the whole basis of this video is you do the hard things now and you live an easier life in the future or you do the easy things now and live a hard life in the future it really comes down to what type of how easy you want your life to be in the future being being impoverished is a very hard thing to deal with so you can have bad spending habits you can't you can't increase your income and then you can live a very hard life in the future where you can go all in into the right now and do everything you can to have the best finances, physical able body, best mindset, pouring yourself with the best things in for yourself. So like I said, life can be a cakewalk five, six, seven, eight years from now. It's up to you. It's it's up it's about what type of life you want and how 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 um eager are you to live in a very enthusiastic and joyful life. <sighs> See, the thing, the reason why normies don't understand retention is because they don't understand that you have to do hard things to get an easier life in the future. They think they can just do easy things now and get easy results in the future. And that's not the case. You have to do hard things now to get the best, the best from life later, or you're going to live a mediocre and unsatisfactory life. This is just what I came across. You have to live your life by the slight edge. You're either on the trajectory of success in an area of your life or the trajectory of failure in your life. You choose what it is. Retention gives you the amplification of becoming the best version and gives you the courage to do the hard things now so you can get an easy life later. This is all it comes down to. So choose your heart, choose your heart, choose your difficult, choose your priorities. <sighs> you know, people don't think this matters. None of it matters, blah, blah, blah. But I mean, you start, you see the, the quality of their lives and then you start realizing what, what, what really matters, what really matters. <laughs> so yeah, the average person doesn't get retention because they don't realize that they have to do hard things now to get an easier future. They want to cruise through life and make un, unaffected decisions. And this is not the case. This won't ever be the case. Success is, no one who was successful was, is not an accident. Everything was planned out. Everything was planned out. So it's up to you. Normies don't understand retention because they don't realize they have to do hard things now to get the best in life. I know I've said it, but I have to, I have to confirm it. They don't realize they have to do different things than the average person to live a different life in the future people people are given information don't they don't research anything they just do what they're told and then they live a meager existence but you you can be different you start thinking for yourself you start building better habits for yourself you start you start becoming free, becoming more of a free thinker and you start believing in your own self instead of something something outside of you and then somehow in some way you will get what you want see the thing is people think like oh people people think uh, you have to have no self-belief in yourself and wait for external forces to do your bidding for you to try to help you increase your life and that is not the case like i said before no one is coming to save you you have to have your self belief you have to amplify your self-belief to the po to the highest potency so that way you can justify your existence and take and take the action to get what you want. See, the thing, the thing is, whatever, whatever your 
quote unquote subconscious beliefs are, they will materialize in, in your physical reality at a later date. So knowing this information, you, you put your, you affirm the things that you want and you start believing by through repetition of the things that you want. You keep repetitively saying and speaking it helps helps these things to form a belief in your subconscious and then your subconscious as soon as it accepts it will go through a lot of different pathways to to make your beliefs manifest so you have to believe in the best you have to have a positive outlook on life and believe in the best see the thing is like the thing is the thing is, once you start having more belief in yourself, things change. The entire world is changing in your behalf to to mirror your, the new beliefs that you set out. So the best thing is to believe in the best, to dwell on the best. Um, now we might have arguments about belief in self and belief in external in external forces. Yes. Now when we say these things, we're not saying, oh, don't believe in in the Most High to to help your life. You, you have to meet, you have to meet, what I'm saying is you have to meet yourself 50-50. You have to do the dirty work to get yourself up to a standard of belief for yourself. And then you do what you can control. And then you have faith that the, that the external for forces will, will, will get to you what you want. But if you, uh, what I'm saying is like, you just stay on your butt the entire time and just say, oh, something's going to come eventually then the thing is you have to you can't drive a parked car you have to put the car in drive and then hit the gas and then eventually you're going to steer yourself in the right way that makes sense but just sitting on your butt and expecting miracles to come into your life it's just not going to happen you're going to have to put in some some gritty work some grit to get to get where you want to be and like i said normies normies don't believe in retention they believe in doing the bare minimum and complaining as to, they, they believe in putting 25 percent in the work and complaining why this other 75 percent has not manifest it really just depends it just really goes after do you really want more things and are you willing to do the work to get it or are you okay with just settling for your life and that is it that's the bottom line of everything Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit, the, please hit a comment below. Please like the video. Please share the video with other people. And then we'll continue to increase our subscriptions and increase our our, our influence throughout this, this YouTube algorithm. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Appreciate y'all.